and what doctors used to call ME. They said it does exist and should be more properly called chronic fatigue syndrome. There's still no adequate medical explanation for it. The experts say it could be triggered by viruses. But there's also a psychological factor, as Vernon Mann reports. Like most people with ME or chronic fatigue syndrome, as the doctors want to call it, Ondine Upton looks normal and healthy. But she's been suffering now for seven long years. It was very, very gradual, actually. I got very tired. I was working hard at work. You just lose all your energy and you lose all your life. So everything you take for granted, you can't do any longer. The report recognises for the first time that the illness does exist and concludes the approach to treatment should be a psychological one as well as medical. Many patients have their illnesses triggered by a virus, but in terms of long-term disability, are psychological factors important? Well, of course they are. I mean, uh, in most illnesses they are, and they are particularly important in this area. It would be an odd world if they weren't. They need to be addressed with equal seriousness to physical factors. So farewell then, ME, and hello, the chronic fatigue syndrome, the new preferred name for this illness, which continues to baffle the medical profession. Although after this report, doctors do believe that slowly and hopefully surely, they're beginning better to understand the complex causes of the illness and even how better to treat it. But the report offers little immediate hope for sufferers like Ondine Upton. For them and her, the future remains uncertain. And I don't know what the future holds. It's totally unknown, really. I could get a lot better. I could stay as I am. I think the odds are I'll get much better, but it'll take time. Vernon Man News at 10, West London.